Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to make baked breaded chicken strips. Very simple, but we kicked it up a little notch, all right? I have my chicken that I cut into strips. Actually, I think I cut these more into chunkers for chicken marsala, but I do have it soaking in the marsala wine, just like when I make it for marsala. I do the same thing when I make the breaded chicken strips. The marsala wine will kind of start to break down the connective tissue on the chicken. Uh, I had it sitting now for two days in this baggie. I kind of moshed it around just to get that wine into the chicken, okay? So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to take this chicken here, and I'm going to make them into, into strips, right? Very simply. We'll make them into strips real quick here for you. All right, I'm just going to pull these chunkers. That one's already a strip, so let's just go with that. Let's get the bag out. We'll drop that in. But there's some of these. Some of these we're going to come across here. Let's, let's cut them in half, all right? Because that's going to make a nice strip, chunky, meaty, breaded chicken. All right? Simple and easy to make, guys. This is, look, you can tell it's been sitting on that wine. It's starting to change color and get that brown. That's going to add this tenderness. You're going to wonder, why is this chicken strip so tender? Well, I'm going to tell you right now why it's so tender. It's because it's been sitting on Marsala wine for two days and just breaking that connective tissue down in there. You see that? It's starting to already break that connective tissue down. So when you eat these, they're going to be delicious. They're going to bake in the oven and they're going to caramelize with that wine that's been soaking into the chicken. So it's going to give it a nice sweet flavor while also being nice and tender. All right, so we're going to make a few more strips here. That's good. All right, well, just do a couple more and then we're going to get into it. All right, that's good for now. Let's put this in the back. We'll get rid of this for now. Let's move this over here. All right, guys. We're going to rinse off real quick here. Just a quick rinse off. And then we're going to go right into right into our eggs. We like to use the Nelly's Free Range Organic Eggs. You'll see on these yolks, when I crack this, they're absolutely gorgeous. Look at the yellow on that. So rich and yummy. So we like to use those, guys. They're just delicious. Oh, I got a piece of shell. Don't panic. Don't panic. Get in there and just get that shell out. All right. We just kind of, boom. That one's not as rich. I'm a little surprised, but this one's a little richer in color. All right. Give that a quick whisk, guys. That's all you got to do. All right. Get your oven preheated at 275, all right, which we've already done. I've got this on 275, uh, sorry, three, 375. All right, actually, I don't really need it that high, but I did put it up to 375 to get it hot really quick. So let's go to 275, okay, because it's just about preheated and ready to go. All right, we're going to go with the Four C's unsponsored breadcrumb on that. So let's dump that on a plate. I like to keep it simple, guys. Then we just chuck the plate out, and we're all set. All right, so we'll put that aside. I take a little Parmesan or Romano. I have it mixed in here in this container that we've recycled. I like to add a little bit of extra into my breading. I like mine nice and cheesy, all right? So then we're just going to come in here and just kind of mix that up a little bit. All right? It's that simple. All right, we're going to get the... Now, you can make your own breadcrumbs, guys. You don't have to use the store brand. You can toast up whatever bread you like. If you like the the seedy, nutty bre uh, breads like, uh, you know, Dave's, uh, you know, uh, organic, healthy breads and that kind, you can use that. You can toast that up and get it crunchy, break it all up, and use that as your breadcrumb with seasoning. Or you can just get the already mixed, ready to go. All right, so here we go. Let's get a little olive oil, right? I go olive oil, guys, on my pan. We're going to bake these, so I'm going to go a little olive oil across that pan. All right. And then we're going to just come in here and take a few of these strips, and we're going to go right into the egg wash with that strip. We're going to mix it around. Very simple, man. Mix this around. Let it get coated nicely. You got the wine on that chicken. Now you've got the egg wash. Okay, so then we just go into our breading, flip it, boom, boom, push some over the top, give it just a little push down and make it into your strip, mold it if you will, and then you come right onto your pan. We're going to slide this pan over so we don't make a mess, and there we go. That's one chicken strip right there. 
meaty, yummy, not like the strips you get at some of these places where there's barely any meat, you know. Uh, these are nice and meaty and beautiful. Just a nice little coating. Some places, if you don't have a lot of chicken to go around, guys, then you can take this and go right back into the egg wash. And they call that double breading it. So this is the double breading. So you're getting double the breading on that. So if you have less chicken and you need it to go a long way, go ahead and do that because you got plenty of meat here anyway. So, all right. So there you go. Those are two. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna finish these up, and then we'll come back. When we come back, we're gonna have a full tray of chicken strips. We'll be ready to go. And uh, we'll continue the festivities. Back and uh, we're just about finished up here. We've got these um, breaded uh, chicken tenders. I did save a little bit over here because I'm going to use that for chicken marsala. Speaking of chicken marsala, guys, I'm going to show you. I take, uh, I took, uh, I've been getting requests for the marsala gravy. So I'm doing a test run on some recycled Bertoli. Uh, bottles and some mason jars making that rich yummy reduction on the gravy but you can go to the Marsala video to take a look at that guys all right but uh, that's for friends and family I'm gonna get that out to people uh, as far as this goes here that's from a friend of mine at church he gave that to me he grows uh, at his house he, he grows uh, in these um, these planters and grows peppers and tomatoes and he he hooked me up with that i really appreciate that that's steve man that's my boy steve-o thank you steve-o all right guys let's get back in the game here all right we got a few left here to bread up we've got an oven preheated at 375 uh, actually i'm gonna go with 350 guys i like it to cook a little bit slower you can go with 350 375 400 whatever depending on the time frame if you need them to be done more quickly guys then you can raise the temperature. But I like to cook them a little bit slower and get that Marcella wine that's inside that chicken for the last couple of days to really caramelize up and get, uh, you know, evaporated in there. And uh, the wine cooks off and just leaves this yummy, tender flavor behind, which is nice. So let's get the last couple on there. Beautiful. And, you know, guys, you want to try to get it where you're just about out of breading so you really don't waste anything. Because as you know, my motto is uh, cooking delicious, yummy food on a shoestring budget. So that's how we do it, guys. And then a lot of times you'll have a little bit of egg left over as well. The egg, what I like to do with that is I get a little saute pan going and I take that yummy organic uh, Nelly's eggs there, non-sponsored. And I'll, I'll cook that up in the pan and I'll just eat that or give it to my dog, Teddy. And Teddy loves it. He absolutely loves it. All right, so there's no waste, guys. That's the bottom line. This pan of chicken here, that cost me about $1.99 a pound. You're looking at, on this pan here, you've got about two pounds of chicken. All right, so this is $4 cost. You can make probably, let's see, a chicken tender platter. One, two, three, four, eight, twelve. You got at least four chicken tender platters sitting here. Uh, you would pay at the, at the um, restaurant at least $10 to $12 for that. Uh, chicken tender platters. So here you're paying peanuts to have tons of food. All right, guys, so let's get this in the oven. We're at 350. We're going to go about 35 minutes at 350. Let's get that in the oven. Boom. All right, over here we've got just some store bought. Uh, the kids like these uh, seasoned fries from Checkers, non sponsored. But we'll get these on the tray. And when we're about 15 or 20 minutes into the chicken cooking, We'll get these in. These are going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to cook. So we don't want to put them in now because then they'll end up getting too crispy and uh, dried out. And we really don't want that to happen. All right, guys. So listen, when we come back, we're going to get some sauces ready. We're going to do some dipping with those um, chicken tenders and french fries. And we'll be enjoying some yummy food. All right, guys. Here we are. We are about 15 minutes into the cooking on these uh, chicken strips. Let me get myself a pair of tongs. Got some tongs right here. Let's take a quick look. See what we got going on here. Get a glove. It's going to be very hot. All right. Let's get in here. Let's pull this tray out. Oh, oh, they're sizzling and popping. Look at those guys. All right, beautiful. I'm going to just take a little. Just a little extra olive oil drizzle on the top, guys. Not much, just a little bit. We're keeping them a little healthy here, all right? 
And let's just turn these around. Let's start flipping these. Look at the color on that, guys. It's starting to get that nice brown, crispy color. All right, so let's spin those up. We've got another 15 to 20 minutes on these. We're going to throw the fries in with them. We like to get these nice and brown and crispy and crunchy and yummy. So they look like they were fried, even though they weren't. Um, and they'll be tasting yummy and nobody will even know, which is the best part about it. Nobody's even going to realize. All right, so we're flipping all these over. And we're going to go right back into the oven with that. All right, so let's flip that one over. Did I get that one? Oh, you're hiding over there. All right. I think we've got them all. All right. That's perfect. All right, so let's put this down. Get that ready to go. Let's go right back in the oven with these. Boom. All right, and we're going to put our seasoned fries or checkers yummy but non-sponsored but we're going to throw those in we're cheating today we're not going to make the homemade ones we'll do that on another video all right we got those in the oven and we're ready to go over here you're going to see all the accoutrement which is going to be simple thank you thank you lord for bringing sweet baby ray's non-sponsored into the picture so i don't have to make all these sauces myself because honestly the honey barbecue sauce is phenomenal just the way it is and the creamy buffalo sauce, you want a little kick, it's a creamy buffalo. Um, it's got a little kick to it, but it's, a, it's creamy, so it's not too bad. And then just catch up for those french fries. All right, guys. Well, when we come back, we're going to pull it together. We're going family style today, as you can see with the size of this tray. We're going to go family style, and um, we'll have that ready to go. Right, so let's, um, let's see what we're dealing with here. I did end up throwing it on broil for a little while. And uh, to get a little more brown on this chicken, we're down to one minute. Oh, look at the color. Look at the color, guys. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we baked them for a half hour. We did about five, six minutes on broil. Oh, those fries are looking crispy and yummy. I think it's time to pull this out. Let's pull the fries out nice and crispy, and let's pull our chicken out. Okay. Looks phenomenal. All right. I think it's time to plate, guys. What do you think? Yeah. Let's do it, man. Thank you, Pizza Virus. I appreciate you doing the video, and brother, if I don't yeah. tell you enough. And I appreciate you taking care of the music and the whole thing. I give Pizza Virus, my son Michael here, all the kudos for uh, getting this video out for me and helping me get it done because Dad loves to cook and do this stuff, but I'm not the video guy. I'm not the techie guy. All right, so here we're going to go. Let's, let's, let's take the French fries. We're going to go up with the french fries on the side. All right, we're making a big family style, and actually, our family will be enjoying this for lunch. So, they will absolutely love it. So, let's get the fries going here, right? Yeah, some of us like ketchup, some of us like different dipping sauces, but let's, let's get these fries on. I think that's good. We've got plenty of fries here, right? So, here we go with the fries. Let's move this over. I think I'm going to go ahead and get my pot holder over here. And let's get these chicken strips. Guys, remember, on the poultry, we've got to make sure we you get that up to 185 degrees on the poultry, which I've already checked, and these are absolutely perfect. So, let's get this on for the tray, guys. We're going to bring it over. I'm going to go, I think, on the side with the chicken here. Oh, guess what? Our timer's going off. Let's stop that. Let's get rid of that, and we're ready to roll. All right, so let's get these on. Onto the platter. Beautiful. Look at this tray of food, guys. Listen, guys, total cost on this tray, you're talking about chicken, breading, egg. On the chicken, you're looking at a total cost of about 8 bucks with everything. That's egg, breading, um, everything included, guys. All right, about eight bucks. You're talking about another three dollars on French fries. This whole platter total cost is about eleven dollars on this, guys. Now, when you have a party or you have your friends over and you, you know, football game, uh, basketball game, whatever, you come out with this big tray of chicken tenders and French fries for a cost of about eleven dollars. And you're going to make a lot of friends, guys. Let's get all these fries on there. Why not? All right, so let's get that plated. 
you go walking out with this tray here, and boy, I'll tell you, you are going to make some friends. No question about that. All right, we've got everything on. Let's go ahead and get into our sauces here. We're going to get these in the middle. One. We're just going to, let's just go with two because I'm, my boys aren't going to be big into the buffalo sauce. So we'll skip the buffalo sauce. Let's go with some ketchup. In one. And then we're going to go with our honey barbecue. Sweet Baby Ray, thank you so much for making such a wonderful dipping sauce. All right, guys, you know what? Just for a little look on the plate, my wife has grown some beautiful baby cherry tomatoes. So you know what? I'm just going to drop a couple of these on the platter just for aesthetics, but I'll actually eat those because I love them. All right. And that's it, guys. I want to thank you all for coming out. We're talking chicken tenders and french fry platter for a group family style. Have fun making it, enjoy, and we like to do um, nice, inexpensive, delicious foods on a shoestring budget. Thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for subscribing and liking the video. We'll catch up with you next time.